Welcome back to Tech Tech. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles. You know, programming for kids has been a topic that a lot of different companies, a lot of different people have been looking into. How to get kids more involved in computer programming, especially as computers become even more prominent in our everyday lives. Here to talk about it is Ned Ward. He's VP of Marketing and, uh, and uh, at the Wonder Workshop. You can find them on Twitter at Wonder Workshop, also makewonder.com. Uh, Ned, you know, it's interesting because back, I'm going to date myself here, in the mid-80s, we used to have a bus come to my school with TRS-80s from Radio Shack and it taught you how to program basically and you'd have words bounce across the screen. Now you've got a product here that's basically a robot. I mean, how things have changed, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny, my first computer was a Radio Shack TRS-80. But what we found is that learning program with the tablet and the robots makes it much more engaging. It also allows children five to nine to really learn the concepts of programming a lot more uh, faster and also it's more, more engaging. They want to spend more time learning playing, programming, and problem solving. And so we've got We've heard a lot of, sorry, go ahead, finish. Go ahead, apologize. Oh, uh, no, please, go ahead. Oh, I, I was cutting you off because I was, I was, I did, you know, we have a little bit of a delay, and my question was really about coding. You know, we heard a lot about coding, and uh, you were getting into it right there when uh, we had the little delay mis misinterpretation there. Um, and when it comes to coding, um, what does that mean? A lot of people at home don't necessarily understand. So in layman's terms, you're teaching kids coding, uh, explain that. Coding is basically being able to break down problems into basically discrete parts and learning how to solve them, basically critical thinking. And so it's a skill that kids can really sort of apply not only to building programs to make robots do fun things, but just in everyday life, solving word problems. It's a great skill. And so with our programs, we have four free programs, both for Apple and Android tablets. Children can basically download them, and even before they can read, we have programs, for instance, where they can use their finger just to move the robot around by drawing a path on the screen. Or when they get older, we have programs like Blockly, which I've got here. Blockly is a drag and drop programming language, and it allows children to basically, no, excuse me, it allows children to control the robots. And of course, you've got Dash by itself. We have great accessories that you can add on. For instance, this is our bulldozer blade. And you can even have the robots interact. So for instance, we've got Dash here, fun looking robot, both for boys and girls. And in my hand here, I've got Dot. Now Dot is going to do some fun things where basically when I run this program that's on my iPad, when I shake Dot, Dash is going to turn around and then it's going to go and it's going to get ready to help some, clean up some stuff on your table here. So I just press Start. Then I'm going to shake Dot. And it's executing the program. Wow. You know, as we see this, and it's pretty remarkable how this is all advanced, you know, is, is this a situation where kids are going to learn coding, but in, you know, five or ten years, it's going to be some, replaced by something else, or it's going to be the next version, so to speak? Um, I'm trying to keep this as layman as possible. Uh, so, or is this just a good way of at least getting their feet wet? That's an excellent way to put it. So for five to nine-year-olds, we know that they can learn new languages very easily. They soak them up like a sponge. But this is really the step to get them into more advanced languages. So for a five to nine-year-old to learn something like Path and then graduate to Blockly, that then is going to allow them when they get to like middle school age to say, you know what, maybe I want to take a class in JavaScript. Maybe I want to learn Python. Maybe I want to get more into coding. But we want to make sure that they have the confidence, whether it's boys or girls, to say, you know what, I can do this. I've already been playing with robots. I've already been doing coding, you know, when I was five, nine years old. Um, but we know that t we want to make sure that it's something that they see as it's fun and it's engaging. It's not difficult. And again, as you can see with these robots, it's very easy to have some right. quick programming that then lets you do some fun stuff that you get to see not just on screen, but actually with your robots doing something on the floor or on your table. Ned, you know, you left a company that yeah, a few people might have heard about called Google uh, to uh, come over to, to the, ro the robot uh, programming scene. Um, I guess my question is the market big enough? I mean, this is, it's a, an incredible looking product. I have to say it's, it's very impressive watching the video and, and seeing it and that kind of thing. But is, is the market big enough? I mean, is this something that's, is this a small market of people that are going to have their kids or is this something that really can expand and is affordable? This is, we feel that this is a market that definitely can expand because, and as we've seen, we've been for sale since November, both on our website, on Amazon, and since May in Apple retail stores. But we're also in schools. We're in over 400 schools to date, and teachers are using it to help make STEM more exciting and more engaging so that it aids in retention. So for instance, if a teacher is allowing children to use Dash to learn a fractions module, that classroom is going to have a much higher retention rate 
on that subject, just because again, having that sort of kinesthetic learning effect of not just what's on the, the, the screen in front of you or on the, on the chalkboard, but being able to get down, learn that lesson with a robot is gonna make it stick a lot better. So we think that there's yeah, definitely room. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Ned Ward, really appreciate you coming on. Dash is a cool product. Uh, we need to see and we look forward to seeing how it advances and, of course, how uh, you guys advance as well in the future. We appreciate you coming on and talking about it. Thanks so much. For more information on it, you can uh, find out uh, at makewonder.com is the website. That's Dash. You can see it right there. Also, again, as, as Ned mentioned, in Apple stores as well as on Amazon. Uh, also, can follow them on Twitter at Wonder Workshop, the smart robots for curious minds. All right. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and you're watching Tech Take.